Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today I have actually, well, messed up in a certain way because I was in so much stress at work that I forgot to be at the first Swedish course meeting. <laughs> oh no! Today was the, f the beginning of the Swedish course and it is online because I decided to take the online course because I thought, okay, going to the evening course every day um, to the town is first of all very annoying for me, second of all very dependent on people driving me to the city center and because I heard that the course is for like two, three weeks every day, I said like, nope, I will take the online course. And now the problem with the online course that I have realized um, over the time when I was in Germany, the online course is between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m., which is in my working times. So first of all, why is that? Like, People are working and <laughs> do I have to now take time off at work to learn Swedish? I think like, why can I not have the course after that? Of course, the person who is the teacher might also, I don't know, like want to have time off after work. I understand that. But the Swedish courses in Germany, when I was always taking them in university, they all started at four or even at six in the evening, which is perfect. So I just don't understand why. That's the first thing that was annoying me. So I already knew that there is a course. And well, also yesterday evening, I realized, oh yeah, I need to log in so that I have like access to the Google Classroom and things like that. Yeah, and then today I was thinking about, okay, maybe I will just say hello and just see how it goes because I got an email where it says like, okay, you don't have to attend the, the course, but you need to do the homeworks. And so I was checking those homework things and I thought like, okay, looks very nice. So you have to sometimes, for example, record yourself talking freely in Swedish. So I really think there are good opportunities to self-study basically certain things. On the other side, of course, it would be nice to talk to people during the lecture. Um, yeah, and then we had today. So yesterday I was, like I said in the video, a bit trying to figure out how to yeah, get back on track at work. And there was one project that needs to get finished as soon as possible. And basically I have to do it. And I was thinking, okay, today I'm easily going to finish it. It's not taking a long time. Well, I was wrong. It took the whole day. And I made the, the big problem basically is I, I can just tell you without going into too much detail. I was working on two instructions for yeah machines which are very similar, but in the detail they are they are totally different. So they have different ports, they have different labels, and so the easy thing of course would be okay just do one and then copy it to the other and change the details. But then I made certain mistakes and so it was very, very hard for me or it took very long time to figure out are the details right. And yeah, so I got through all of that today. But when I looked at the time, I was like, oh, I totally missed the time for the online meeting for the Swedish course. Yes, that's the first thing. Second of all, I also forgot to pick up the Swedish learning book. Yesterday it was only open till 4 and today it was, I think it was longer, but after work I just felt like, no, no, <laughs> I didn't feel like asking someone to take me to, to that place or take me back afterwards. So maybe next week I, I have to send an email, like, I don't know, I just didn't feel like being dependent on other people. If I would have my own car, of course, I would just drive there, take it shortly, be done and go back to work if it would be during the workday or do it after work when they are open then. <clears throat> yes, but that was annoying. So now I've thought about all those Swedish course things and 
of course it would be nice to do like to attend that with other people meet them but i was thinking about it the following like the following way when i am at work surrounded by a lot of swedish peop speaking people i actually have probably more swedish going on than or like correct swedish or what, how do you call it like normal swedish that everybody talks instead of being at the course where you have a lot of people like me that are not so good and one um, teacher that is perfect and trying to learn us the correct way so for me it felt like well the course is nice it is also nice to meet people definitely but i actually i'm honest with you i want to work i want to take my time at work and enjoy yeah working with projects working with nice people instead of being online at this swedish course so i think i will skip that as i'm allowed to but i will definitely do the homeworks and all those things and i also thought like okay i have to improve my my swedish habits like i'm listening to so much german youtube videos podcast I'm also watching a lot of English things, which is still a good thing. But I have to put more Swedish in my life. And that is why I want to make at least one day a week fully Swedish, where I don't watch German YouTube videos, don't watch English YouTube videos, just watch Swedish stuff. Um, I still don't know which day I'm going to do. I think Sunday would be the best, as there is like a lot of like the whole day available and it is also like a day before work so that i don't have to like you know, i'm already used to listening to swedish so on monday might be a better day to listen to more swedish but i'm not 100 percent uh, percent sure yet which day but it's going to happen and i definitely need more swedish habit that is what i realized today when i was working home uh, walking home I'm, I'm see i'm already confusing languages but yeah so i really really um think this is still a good opportunity to take those um, online courses um those like tasks that you have to do every week probably writing speaking and also learning so it is still nice but as i said i need routine i need routine and improvement because as of right now i feel like i improve my listening definitely but i still fail at talking which is due to the fact that i just don't have a very big vocabulary i have so few words that i know i have to look up so many things this morning i was talking to my mentor in swedish about, about like daily life things and i was like okay what does this mean what does this mean and it is it was just impossible to to usually like i remember when i was learning um, when i was learning english in school you always learn to when you don't know a word describe it but i still don't i'm, I'm not even able to describe it so yeah improvement <clears throat> okay besides this i am now yeah close to um, give a friend of mine a call it is close to six now i have also yeah had another crazy idea for next year for um a vacation i can tell you so i am i'm thinking about taking a taking a trip to svalbard <clears throat> which is a very very northern norwegian island and it would be awesome it would look, i love crazy trips i love crazy adventures this is exactly what i need but yeah i don't know i don't think this year because this is it's too much things going on this year but next year would be awesome yeah, uh, but now enough said. I hope you had a wonderful day. We will see each other tomorrow. Bye-bye.